Over the years, Mario Kart Wii has had a drastic difference in its speedruns. From the early days in 2008 to nowadays, there is a big difference in skill. With ultra shortcuts, tight routes, and overall great gameplay, speedrunners have gotten tracks down to abysmally low times. And that's what we're going to be talking about today. Today we're going over the top 10 shortest Mario Kart Wii speedruns. Starting off with number 10 is Peach Beach, with a record of 59.97 seconds. This run implemented two ultra shortcuts on lap 2 and 3, which shaved an enormous amount of time off the speedrun's total. And with quicker and quicker routes, it looks like the Peach Beach record is going to stay around this range. It's currently held by RS Guy. Number 9 is Yoshi Falls. With a record of 58.64 seconds, this speedrun does not actually include any ultra shortcut, as there is none for Yoshi's Falls. This is just a clean cut, well done run. This record was performed by a runner known simply as David, and his record has stood for almost 4 years at this point, being set in 2020, making it the current oldest speedrun of any Mario Kart track right now. Which means if there was ever an idea of an ultra being discovered on this track, it might significantly lower down the time. Now number 8 is Sherbert Land with a record time of 54.34 seconds. This record also utilizes the ultra shortcut for this track where you just skip past the goalpost avoiding key checkpoints and landing into the right ones. And when done perfectly, it enormously cuts down the time of this track. This run over the years just gets more and more beautiful and I gotta say, this current record held by Zorin is a legendary performance. Number 7 is Ghost Valley 2. Sitting at 49.99 seconds, a fraction of a second away from 50 seconds. This record also utilizes a brilliant ultra shortcut, a very precise ultra shortcut, which was performed by Logan, otherwise known as Glitch O. This record has stood since 2021, making it another one of the oldest records aside from DS Yoshi Falls. Number 6 is Mario Circuit. This record stands at 46.55 seconds. It's currently held by K, otherwise known as MC. This Ultra Shortcut was one of the earlier discoveries in Mario Kart Wii's Ultra Shortcut history, and over the years has been fought back and forth, leading it to a very, very low time. And MC's performance just goes to show that this track's Ultra Shortcut is almost completely perfected. With the record being set in 2023, it's been standing for a little bit, but maybe still has an inch of wiggle room. Number 5 is DK's Jungle Parkway, a 38.87 second record. This record is held by Core, and it utilizes a brilliant ultra shortcut which requires you to bounce off the top of the start line, causing a collision error and sending you through the wall. I've explained it previously, but again, it's a brilliant cut and really warrants a 38 second record. Number 4, Wario's Goldmine, 31.67 seconds. Another relic of Ultra Shortcuts, this cut had been found years ago at this point, and still remains highly contested over of who can get the best run. As of now, Poyo holds the record at 31 seconds, and is the only runner from Spain to actually have a record on the board, as of 2024. Will this run go lower? It's hard to say, because it's a very precise, very exact speed run, where only few people are able to fully pull off a 3 lap run. It would take some time and endurance but, but with a little bit of luck, we might be able to get even closer to that 31 seconds. Number 3 is Coconut Mall, an ultra shortcut that has changed and evolved over time. The run currently sits at 24.12 seconds, and is held by Brakeson, otherwise known as Glitch V. Now just like Glitch O, otherwise known as Logan, Brakeson has also held a bunch of records in the game, and Coconut Mall was just another example of her achievements. With a brilliant cut that puts you right through the wall, you're able to make your rounds in the parking lot, collecting all three laps fairly simply. This cut can be done by almost anyone, but can only be perfected by a master. 
Number two, Mushroom Gorge, the bane of my existence. A 19.69 second record. This record is held by Bryce. An incredible record if you ask me. I mean, to complete a track in under 20 seconds is an achievement, no doubt, no matter what track it is, even if it's the worst one in the game, in my opinion. But with a simple collision error and a big rock, you can get around the track three times easily without even having to get off the rock, making this record extremely short, but not as short as our number one ultra shortcut. Number 1 Rumble Volcano, where Ultra Shortcuts all started. This method was originally found soon after the game's release, and since then has been shaved down all the way to a 15.42 second speedrun. That's right, 15 seconds. You could upload this whole speedrun on Instagram back in 2015. That's how short it is. This record is currently held by Niaki and is a perfect showcase of how good Mario Kart Wii players can really be. With dedication and skill, Niaki has pulled this speedrun off perfectly to a T. It's held for a whole year Year, and I'm not sure if there's really much time at all to lose on the record, so unless someone has a few milliseconds to shave off, Nyaki might be the permanent record holder for Grumble Volcano. Other than that, guys, that's the video I got for you today. I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, leave a like, maybe subscribe if you want to see more of these. But other than that, thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video. Peace!